Now let's play on the seesaw. Okay, but later let's play on the slide. D. What can you say about the weights of the two children? Aaron is heavier than Charles. What made you say that? Well, Aaron is larger than Charles. Aaron's side of the seesaw is down, while Charles is up. Very good, Denise and Alvin. So can we say that the weight of Aaron is greater than the weight of Charles? Yes! Ma'am, could we also say that the weight of Charles is less than the weight of Aaron? Yes, we can say that as well. Now, how can we rewrite these two statements in mathematical symbols? Ma'am, let me try. Go ahead, Chris. So, what things do you know are almost always greater than or less than one another? How about what my parents give me for allowance is always less than what I want? Well, Bianca, I'm sure most of us feel the same way, but we must live within our means. If we do that, this inequality becomes Can anyone else think of two things that are not equal? How about the number of graduates and the number of jobs available? And which is greater? The number of graduates What made you say that, Denise? Well, ma'am, if the number of graduates is less than the number of available jobs, we wouldn't have unemployed people like my brother. And my parents wouldn't have to go abroad to work. It's sad when parents get separated from their children. But we should look at how hard these parents work to give their children brighter futures. And with more investments, Perhaps the problem of unemployment can be solved. The situation will be reversed. Today, we will be dealing with relationships which we call inequalities. Our objective for today is to solve mathematical statements like this inequality. That looks hard. Don't worry, it's almost as easy as solving this. Ma'am, do you mean we can solve inequalities the same way we solve equations? What do you think? Let's find out. Remember, how do we solve equations? We apply the properties of equality. Very good, Christine. So we need to know the properties of inequality? That's right, Bianca. So, let me ask you this. If you haven't seen the two children in the video, what could you have said about their weights? Well, their weights could have been the same. Yes, they could. What else can we say about their weights? I know the weight of Charles could be greater than the weight of Aaron.
we could also say that the weight of Charles could be less than the weight of Aaron. Excellent! So, if we were given any two unknown quantities or numbers A and B, we can say that A equals B, or A is greater than B, or A is less than B. What we have here is the first property of inequality called the trichotomy property. Oh, I see. Tri means three. That's why there are three possible relationships. That's right, Gabes, but only one can be true. Now let's find out how these three relationships relate to the number line. So, can anyone give me two numbers, A and B, such that A is greater than B? Ma'am, how about A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 1? Okay, so can you locate A and B on the number line? I'll try. Good job, Christine. I'll draw another number line and this time give me two numbers A and B such that A is less than B. Ma'am, how about A is equal to negative 3 and B is equal to 0? Okay, Alvin. Come to the board and mark those numbers on the number line. Oh, I see what you're trying to get at. If A is greater than B, A is to the right of B on the number line. And if A is less than B, A is to the left of B on the number line. That's right, Bianca. But what if A is equal to B? Ma'am, do you mean like two and four halves? Yes. I know. If A is equal to B, then A and B will be on the same spot on the number line. Very good, Denise. Let's see. Denise, Alvin, and Gabez, please come to the front and stand facing the class. Now arrange yourselves according to height with the tallest first in line. Okay, Gabes, you are now called A, Alvin, you're called B, and Denise, you're called C. Class, what can you say about A and B? A is better looking than B. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Chris, I was talking about their heights. I'm sorry, I meant A is taller than B. How about B and C? B is taller than C. Okay, now given these observations, can we say that A is taller than C? Yes. Very good, class. We have just uncovered another property of inequalities called the transitive property. This property states that for any three real numbers, A, B, and C, if A is greater than B, 
and B is greater than C, we can say that A is greater than C. It also works in reverse. If A is less than B and B is less than C, we can say that A is less than C. It's just like transferring the relationship between A and B and B and C to A and C. That's right, Denise. 